Do you believe that? That ten Ks would be better than the five K? Because I mean that Diamond League win kinda showed you that you can take it you can be up there with the top guys in East Africa. Yeah, um, I mean, I like to think I could be a 5K guy, but uh, a lot of times, you know, the distance uh, picks you, you don't pick the distance. So uh, if I had my choice, I mean, if I had a choice, I'd be a 1500 meter runner, right? So um, we'll, we'll see, but yeah, I think I have the speed uh, to, to be a good 10K guy. I just have to work on the strength a little bit more to, to be able to use that. Um, I honestly don't know if I had the full speed to kick with the top guys off the past 5K. So, yeah, you just gotta be realistic. Um, so, like strength something a lot easier. As you, I'm almost 30, so strength's a little bit easier to work on the speed, right? I basically have all the speed beat I have, so, yeah, let's see. In your last four races, you finished no worse than second. Yeah. <laughs> so, you're having a heck of a year. Oh, thank you, thank you. <laughs> Still one spot in front of me, you know, you gotta, you gotta get in front of that. <laughs> so, go here, like, Talk us through the last 1,200 days. Yeah, I knew, I knew uh, Galen was going to go. Um, I knew we started slowing down a lot, and um, uh, you could tell he was getting agitated behind. Um, I wanted to get in front of him so that he'd have to go around me. Uh, and uh, when he went, I, I, I could match it and kept looking back at me. I was getting a little mad. I just wanted to close down on him, but couldn't get the legs turning over anymore. I was, basically fried, so um, I couldn't close that gap at all. Uh, and then I was just trying to maintain it to the line to make sure I had second wrapped up. And the heat, heat had that affect you, you know? Yeah, it's hot. Um, it just kills your energy a little bit more. Um, but I was feeling good. Um, I was feeling pretty good throughout the whole way. I mean, we were kind of surging around running but 67s and 71s and all over the place. So, uh, but no, I, I, I felt good. Um, I uh, pulled a rookie move and I uh, nailed my knee pretty hard. So hopefully that doesn't swell up for, for Sunday, but uh, we'll get that fixed up and we'll be all right. If you were to make the 5K team, what race, which one would you scratch? Do you know that yet? Who knows, I like the 5K more, but who knows. <laughs> what, what did you do to your knee? Oh, uh, I, 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 I hit it coming through and uh, I've been having problems with this leg anyway, so just, just fun stuff. <laughs> and you, t you tweeted out your disclosure form or whatever it is on your anti-doping thing. So how do you feel about these, the Oregon Project allegations and the whole thing? I mean, what sort of comments do you have on that? Yeah, um, you know, allegations are allegations. Rumors are rumors. There have been things that have been floating around for a couple of years. And, um, you know, if they are true, it's, uh, you know, I'm very against any sort of doping or unethical uh, performance enhancements um, and uh, I, I would be very disappointed if that's the case and I would hope that, you know, a strict penalty came about. Um, you know, even, you know, abuse of TUEs, if, you know, that's been allegated to, um, you know, I think that's whether, whether or not that's legal or not in the code of WADA, I think that's against the spirit of the sport. Um, and, uh, should, should be looked on and uh, punished, but you know, right now they're all aggregation, so you know, we have to just see what happens. But um, any sort of doping performance, any drugs, you know, I don't want that in sports, so I want uh, any of that stuff being dealt with. So, what supplements and or prescription drugs do you take? I mean, I think it's probably on that thing you tweeted out, but it's probably easier yeah, to just tell um, us. Yeah, I'm, I'm one of those guys that um, I don't take ibuprofen, I'm against. Anything I don't drink recovery drinks. I drink probably Gatorade twice a year. Um, I'm just against all that sort of stuff. Um, as far as supplements I've ever taken, um, I'll take Aphidophilus every now and then, uh, probiotics, because uh, I'm lactose intolerant. So um, I uh, take vitamin D sometimes in the winter time, and I've been known to take melatonin when I can't sleep, and that's it. Um, and other than that, it's just food. I don't even eat like energy bars or whatnot. I just believe in uh, whole foods and that's coffee. I drink coffee a lot. I'm a coffee snob. So that's probably my biggest course in the drug is drinking a lot of coffee. <laughs> Do you prefer Ben or Benjamin? Doesn't matter. Benjamin sounds too formal, but that's, that's my formal name, but well, what, everyone calls me Ben. Okay. <laughs> yeah.